All right, folks, here we go. Brian Blessing in Las Vegas. Glad to be with you here at bangthebook.com. What a great time of year. We're down to the final four. Follow along on Twitter at Bang the Book, the sports betting podcast. I was on with Adam Burke earlier in the week. Great information, and he'll be hooking you up with baseball information as baseball gets going uh, here on Thursday of this week. But we're focused on the final four, and let's focus specifically on Loyola of Chicago going against Michigan. We'll do another video on the Kansas-Villanova game. Uh, this one in San Antonio, Texas, and this will be a 6.05 Eastern tip. And the 11 seed and the Darlings here, Loyola, Chicago against Michigan, a three seed. Now, this game opened Michigan six. Total on the game, 128.5. They bet it up to 129.5, and, and we're seeing uh, Michigan a five-point favorite. And I would envision the closer we get to game time that the Darlings are actually going to take a little bit of money. So if you're taking the points, I'd advise doing it earlier in the week. I think this comes down to four and a half. You might even see uh, some fours out there. Uh, but the road for these two teams, markedly different. But Loyola, what a great story it is. And you look at the narrow victories over Miami, Tennessee, uh, Nevada, and then a blowout win over Kansas State. And we know all about Sister Jean, but uh, there's nothing divine about this. This is just a good basketball team. Uh, they're smart, they're sound, they're well coached, and most importantly, they protect the basketball. And you know that's going to be the key in this game is to play the perfect basketball game. And the way I would break this down, uh, if this game's going to get away from Loyola Chicago, could it be a boat race out of the gate? It could be because we saw Michigan roll Texas A&M. But I think Loyola catching three points in the first half might be the way to go uh, because this is a team, they've played nothing but close basketball games, and there'll be that bounce in their step, and the crowd will be rooting for them. Now, Michigan... Ultimately, their talent level could take over in the second half of this game. But I would look at that. Plus three in the first half might be a reasonable way to play this game. Now, as for Michigan, uh, listen, I draw the analogy all the time. You know, When teams win it, they cut down the nets. There's always a game where they survive. I always go back to UConn. When they won their first round game a few years back was against St. Joe's. And UConn was like down six points with 30 seconds to go somehow. Got it to overtime and won the game. Miracle. What do they do? They go on a run and they win the whole thing. Well, Michigan certainly qualifies. They beat Montana uh, and comfortably won that game. Covered the number as well and went under the total. But then it was the Houston game. And you can practice it all you want. But with 3.9 seconds underneath your own basket to go down, find a way to get the shot off. And it wasn't a two to tie. They could have driven the lane and tied the game. It was the long three that went in, and they beat Houston 64-63. And then you get the bounce in their step. They just slaughtered Texas A&M 99-72. And I wouldn't get too worried about the Florida State game. Uh, the reality here, 58-54 is the final. I do believe that Florida State was a lot better than people gave them credit for. They clipped me a couple of times in the tournament. Uh, from the betting perspective, both of these teams went 3-1 and one to the under in their first NCAA tournament games. And Loyola's been the darling of not only the tournament, but the betters because they covered every game, and Michigan was 2-2. Two and two. But again, the under trend for both of these teams, I think if you break it down, I'd look at the Loyola as the dog in the first half and then maybe revisit in terms of what you saw in the first half from a pace of play perspective. It is a low total. Uh, but if this game gets away from Loyola, that's when the points will start to come in, and they'll press and do things that they're unaccustomed to. But the backdoor cuts, the half-court possessions, I think in the beginning, they'll take a lot of time off the shot clock. They'll be very diligent with their possessions. I'd look at the dog in the first half, uh, but boy, I'd say a big fan of John Beeline. Michigan was actually my pick uh, to cut down the nets before the tournament. In many respects, they shouldn't even be here. Houston had them beat, uh, but Michigan got the win. Now they're going against the Darlings, and you know, it felt good for both of these teams, to be honest with you. But uh, Loyola catching Michigan to keep that Cinderella dream alive, probably a, a more realistic opportunity here with the other game. you got the Powers going head-to-head, -head, Kansas and Villanova, and we'll preview that in another video for you right here at bangthebook.com. In Las Vegas, always trying to get you ahead of the number. Follow along on Twitter at Bang the Book. I'm Brian Blessing. Glad to be with you. And we'll have a preview of the Villanova-Kansas game right here coming up soon.